What's up, everybody? Thank you all for hanging out with me tonight on Bazin at the Dark. To all of my parents, to all the teachers out there, you all got to be horrified right now as the countdown to schools opening grows closer. I don't know how you all do it. I don't. I mean, you got to be concerned about your health, the health of your child, teachers, administrators, a whole nine. The president has no plan. <laughs> we watch him today at the White House briefing with no doctors. A White House briefing on a pandemic <laughs> with no doctors in the house. That is absolutely insane to the membrane. Again, welcome to the show. I know you all are thinking, boy, where can I get that shirt, right? Fellas are like, man, that's slamming. The women are like, that's hot. I know it's loud, but it's fun though, right? That's what I want to do tonight. I want to have fun with you guys and find out what's going on with you. You know, ever since this pandemic happened, it's been news story, news story, and still we got to talk about what's going on in the news because what's going on in the news is the pandemic, and that pandemic is affecting all of us. So I want to talk about that, obviously, but I want to know what's going on with you. What's going on in your life, man? What's going on in your relationship? How do y'all feel about this, this president? You got a pand. Listen to this, though. You got to you just kind of let this sink in for a minute. What I'm about to say. So you got a pandemic. You're the one of the worst countries in the world. You got a hundred and what? One hundred and forty two hundred and forty three thousand deaths. Four million. They say it's 40 million infections. Right. They say it's 10 times the number that we're getting because we're not testing enough. It's taken, you know, seven to 10 days. A guy in Chicago said it took him 18 days to get his test results back. That's crazy. We got all this going on, and you got Trump hasn't had a briefing since April. It's been April since this guy talked to the American people about the pandemic. And there's no doctors in the house. I, are you crazy? Yes. Kind of answer my own question, right? Kind of rhetorical. You got to be crazy to be a guy that's talking about a pandemic that's about medicine and what's happening with statistics, and you have no doctors in the house. And Do Dr. Fauci wasn't even invited. I got to say this. And they said, where's Dr. Birch? He said, in the back room. What the hell is she doing in the back room? Yo, I'm trying not to curse. You need to be in the back room. All the experts need to be out front telling us what's going on. Another question for you guys. Unemployment is about to run out for so many people. It is. You know, that $600 a week is a big deal. It makes a big deal to get $1,200 a month. And when people don't have that, man, we're talking about food not being purchased. We're talking about rent not being paid. You all think, just think it's bad. I'm telling you, it can get a lot worse. Also, last but not least, this is a question that's really going to set things off tonight, especially for my black family, my African-American family. So let's just say they came up with this, with this vaccine. <laughs> they said, hey, we got good news, ladies and gentlemen. The final trials went well. November 1st, or right after the election, we got the vaccine for you. We got the hookup. Would you take that vaccine? Would you give that vaccine to your kids? That's something you really need. The question you really need to be answered. Would you give it to your kids? See, black people, we don't have a real good history with vaccines in this country. My answer is hell no. No, I'm not taking nobody's vaccine. Are you crazy? You first. You first. You first, president. Let me have them inject you with it. Your son, your children. All the congressmen and women, y'all take it first. The doctors who recommend it, go ahead. Go ahead. You first. Call in I right got now. Dottie on the line. Hey, Lottie, Dottie, how you doing? I'm doing well, and you, Michael? I'm doing fabulous. What's happening? Talk to me. Well, I live in Miami as well, in one of the hot spots. Oh, that's wow. Cold, and it's horrible. My building is so bad, they tell the residents to wear masks. Oh, my God. In the, in the building? Yeah. When we leave our apartment building, we got to wear a mask. I don't mind doing it because I want to prevent the spread. And two, I live with an elderly, with my elderly great aunt. So, that, I mean, I'm not only protecting myself, I got to protect her, too. And you, the people I care about and love. You know, these governors. And I would not. Let me say this, Dottie. No. I'm sorry to cut you off. Some of these governors. It's okay. I would not want to be in a Republican state right now. I'm tell, I would be scared to death. Being down there in Florida right now, too. Arizona, well, California is, is a Democratic governor, but man, there's a lot of Republican areas outside of L.A. Nobody social distance. Nobody wore a mask. And as I told a gentleman who called a short time ago, Dottie, people are pulling out guns and fist fighting over wearing a mask. A mask. How do we get there over masks, Dottie? I know. I mean, shoot, it's protecting all of us. 
yeah, this is a bad situation we're in, Dottie. You know, and a lot of these yeah. parents are going to have to make a decision to send their children back to school. Like you probably, I don't have children who are school age, but I could you imagine? I know you're about to say that, but I imagine, imagine, nephews. there you go. Talk to me, Dottie. Go ahead. I don't have kids, but I have nieces and nephews. And where I work, when the school's let out, they rush straight to our job, mm-hmm. to where I work. So, I mean, school should not be open. And as for the vaccine, we should probably wait a little bit because it's too soon. You it know, took the polio vaccine at least five years till it was finalized. You better preach. Now, don't get me wrong. Technology's come a long way, but it ain't come that long. I'm wondering how many of you all would actually take this vaccine, and it's really getting deep when you ask a question, uh, Dottie, whether or not they would give that vaccine to their children. Yeah. I mean, I would do, like, maybe the third or fifth trial because I don't have kids. Right. And I'm auto-immunocompromised anyway. Yeah, how about the 10th trial? I ain't taking the first or second. Go ahead, you first. Call in right now. With Michael Bajan, how you doing? Who's this? Angela. Angela, what's up? How you doing? Where you calling me from? Hey, Michael. Wisconsin. Wisconsin? Oh, man. How's it? Are you near the George Floyd situation? I don't, well, I'm in Milwaukee, near Chicago. Oh, that's oh, it's just like Chicago. How's everything? Yes. No, we had uh, over 1,100 cases today. Whoa. And I'm a frontline worker in a hospital. You know, and just like they mandatory mandate us to do the flu test, this other test coming out, you know, I'm scared for us to have to be mandated to do that or lose our jobs. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. You, you think that they're going to mandate that people take this vaccine in order to keep their jobs? They do us. Hmm. We have to do it for the flu. For I, the just, hospitals. I just thought for about us. that. Yeah, it's very concerning for all of us frontline workers especially here in this city. It should be. I mean, I never thought about that for one second. That's why I love doing this show, because you all are giving me a different perspective. I can't imagine that anybody would mandate you taking this vaccine if it's only been, you know, come on, this is not a traditional situation here. Warp speed my ass, okay? So we're talking about just throwing this vaccine out there with no tests. And in order for, them, for you to have your job, they're going to mandate you take this vaccine. I never thought about that as a possibility. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. What would yeah. you do? Uh, I, I couldn't do that. I would wow. just have to find me other work. Uh, I, I'm good at making money, but I, um, I wouldn't do that. Um, I, I'm already Felix Unger when I take the flu test. <laughs> hey, don't be dating you know, yourself because everybody know who the odd couple is with Felix Unger. Felix Unger, the, <laughs> yes. you know, the one who was uh, OCD before OCD was OCD, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, so that, I never thought about that in terms of, of have them mandate that. Don't do it, family. I'm telling you, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to recommend that you all take it. There's no way we're going out there in the first and second round of nothing. Not us. We got a bad history as black folks. I'm telling you about these vaccines. So what's going on other, other than that, man? How's your relationship? How you holding up during the pandemic? Um, it, it sucks. I'm single. I can't picture me licking and doing that with nobody right now. Did you say looking or licking? I said licking. Did you say licking or looking? You, I said licking. Uh, <laughs> you did say licking. <laughs> yes, man, some I freaks did. in Milwaukee, y'all. Y'all just don't understand, <laughs> yes. boy. Yeah, man, they got freak potential in Milwaukee, baby. Thanks for calling in. I appreciate it. Hold on. You hold on. Get your phone number. Stand by. Come back with more of your calls on the Michael Bazin Show. How you doing? Right. Sister Habiba, how you doing? I'm doing well, my brother. How are you this evening? Everything is everything. What's on your mind? What's going on with you? I want to talk about these mandatory vaccines. There's going to be a whole lot of us in the penitentiary because I think if people of color line up and let these people put some poison in them, they're out of their ratchet behind mine. So you do think it's going to be mandated. You believe that what the lady said, that they'll be mandating that people take it. Oh, yeah, they're going to mandate. They They want to send us out. And that's one sure way of doing it. If we didn't learn nothing from Tuskegee and the, and the experiments they've done to us over the centuries, come on. I think if anybody lined up to get those vaccines, they're going to get what they're looking for. And they- I just, you know, I never thought about the whole idea of mandating it. And some of you all are watching. I was reading some of y'all's comments here. They're like, hell no. Since I be with they're saying they're not going to take it, and they're certainly not going to give it to their children. No way, Jose. Oh, they're going to have some concentration camps for us, and we'll be up in there, and we will be vaccine-free. That's right. You I'll look d- at those people running this show in the, the White House. 
we don't stand a chance. You know what? If that vaccine, hold on, let me just say this. I agree with you. If that vaccine comes before Election Day, you know, you already know Trump going to go vaccine crazy. And you know his people to take it, though. His people to take it in a heartbeat. Let them go first. Go ahead. Good. Go ahead. Good. Go ahead. Go ahead and take it. Go ahead. We'll watch and see. We'll we'll sit back and watch. Yeah, I want to see some horn star coming out your head if you develop some pus out of you. Whatever, man. I, I. I can't do it, Sister Ibi, but I can't do it. I'm not going to let my daughter don't do it. Do it. And a don't tail. do it. Right, and a tail. We be, locked, we be all locked up together, but we won't have no vaccine. That's really deep, man. This idea of mandatory vaccine, no. Man. Family, look, I'm going to let you all go back to your families. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. It's been so much news. Every day there's so much news. And sometimes I want to cut through their news and get to your news to find out what's going on with you. So much happening in the news. We're not getting information. More people are dying. 142,000 people dead and counting. And there's more people than that that actually died. They just didn't go to the hospital and do it. And there's many more people that have been infected. They say 4 million, but all the experts say that it's 10 times that. So there's 40 million people infected. I have come in contact with someone with COVID-19. I'm isolating. I took my test on Friday. I don't know when I'm going to get it back. Have you all been tested? How long has it been since you got your test results? A gentleman from Chicago called in the CNN and it's been 18 days since he got his results. 18 days before he got his results. That's too long. Imagine people who can't social distance and many people can't. They got to go to work. So 18 days before they find out that they're positive. And then here's the worst part of all. A lot of these tests are inaccurate. You get a positive result, you're negative. You get a negative result, you're positive. Damn. Get it together, man. Only way we're going to get it together is to get this man out of this White House first and foremost. He's dangerous. He's incompetent. And he's a clown. But he's a killer clown. And we being killed the most as African-Americans and Hispanics. We got to fix this quick. Have a good night, family. Thank you all for tuning in. See you guys on the radio tomorrow and see you tomorrow night on Bays and at the Dart. I am...